Welcome to this class on making video. The topic of this class may be something like how to make a video, how to make a good video, how to improve your video skills. Well, actually, no, none of that is true. This class is very special. It's not about how to make a great video. It's about how to not make a really bad video. I love that idea of turning things around. Now you may wonder, why would you want to have a video about not making something? How to not do something? And the reason is quite clear. Video film production, which I've been doing for 30 years, is really complicated. Many, many details. You can see that when you watch a TV show or a movie. At the end, those credits. For a, for a movie, you could have thousands of people involved in the production of a movie. For a very short commercial video, you could have tens to even hundreds of people involved in the production. What this means is that each person is doing a special job because there's so many complicated parts. Even a small production has all of these complicated pieces. It's just so easy to do it wrong. And you can look on YouTube and see thousands of videos. And if you look carefully, I think you very soon see that there's a lot of problems. The lighting is not right. The sound is not right. The editing is not right. I can't understand what they're saying. They're not making their point clearly. The lighting is wrong. It's too dark. It's too bright. Okay, well, I can't really do much for your specific situation. That is, this class is not going to focus on step by step how to make a video. Rather, this class is going to focus on ideas. And those ideas are the important points to remember so that you don't make a bad video. In other words, I'm going to take my 30 years of experience and try to show you what are the things that I've learned to pay attention to and to avoid. Does that mean you'll make a great video? No, it doesn't make you a great video automatically. You know, that needs a lot, like a great topic and a great audience, a, a target. It needs a lot of things. It's very hit and miss. But at least you can avoid making the big mistakes. So in this class, that's what we're going to do. And we're going to do it in short little pieces. And each piece, I'm going to try to also add a little bit of hardware. But the hardware is not focused on one specific tool or one camera. Rather, this class is focused on how you can use whatever you have now to make a video and how to not make the video really bad. Okay, how's that sound? So, let's begin by moving to the hardware table. So every episode I can show you some hardware over here on the hardware table. So, let's begin with the overall view of how this is going to work. That is, what are some of the things you need to make a video? What you know? The great thing is these days, a lot of people are just making video on their phone. That's fantastic. Nothing wrong with that. You could also be using a digital camera. A digital camera, right? That works perfectly too. You may also be using something like a small consumer video camera, like this little Sony uh, Handycam. So maybe inside your school, your department has something like this that you can borrow. Or you may be using a camera, like an SLR camera, that you or someone in your family has, or another classmate has. Or you may actually end up just using your phone. All of those things are possible. So we're going to try to learn how to make videos with any of those tools you have. And I'm going to try to show you some pointers. So each lesson will have a kind of basic idea, and then a little bit of hardware from the hardware table here. I've got tons and tons of hardware. You don't need to have tons, and I'm gonna show you what are the important things you need to have, and where well, you can probably get them really cheap. 